Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello, Plum friends, and welcome back to my channel. Guys, this is happening. I know you've been waiting for so long. Not all of you, but some of you. And yes, this is happening. I am finally filming Q&A. So I have... <laughs> Actually, I wrote down all of the comments with questions and oh my gosh, guys, here are all of your questions and uh, there is a lot. So I'm not sure if I will answer all of them, but at least one from each person will be answered because there are some people who asked for at least five questions. So <laughs> this is insane, but this is so fun. <laughs> so, okay. So what are we doing? Today we are doing report with me, but at the same time filming Q&A. So I have a couple plans. Well, actually I have five plans. Please ignore the smoke that's coming from this corner because this is where my oh, sage is burning. So that's why it's a little bit, you know, smoky here. <laughs> so, okay, I have this beautiful... Why? Wait, 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 I know, I know. This is Syngonia finally remembered <laughs> okay so i have this beautiful syngonium that really needs to be potted up this is a beautiful cutting that is already rooted really well and let me show you up close here is the syngonium as you can see the roots are developed pretty nice and it's pushing out a new leaf this is actually a second new leaf it already pushed out one that died off and I think he needs to go to the soil because he was in the water for at least a couple months now. And I, I will just give it a chance in the soil because I think it will be much more happy than just standing in a simple water, you know? Then I have a couple cuttings of Monstera Peru Variagata. So here is the newest leaf, which is so cute. But here are a couple cuttings from Vea. And the roots in here are as well pretty much looking good i can see the new growth point coming up let me show you closer in here can you see little tiny note is wait, do you see it in here little tiny note is coming which is so cute then we have another one that is growing a new leaf just like i showed you and the roots in here are looking pretty good as well so I am so sure that they will be much happier in the soil, right? So these are a couple cuttings that I will be reporting. I also will be reporting this beautiful Monstera Deliciosa big form. As you can tell, finally, the newest leaf is fully developed. It's thick and no more, you know, that fragile. So I think this might be a perfect time for a reporting because I noticed that the oldest leaf started to get some dark points and I'm a little bit worried so I want to go deep into the roots and see what's happening and we'll do this. Also I have a ZZ cuttings that I potted up maybe a couple months ago and not all of them doing awesome. Some of them are already you know very dry, very yellow so i want to go once again deep down in the pot and see what is happening why a couple cuttings are dying off and maybe i overwatered it maybe it was not enough light for these guys because they were standing on the top of my closet i don't know so we will see about that and last plant is my purple passion it's standing over here i won't take it out right now because it's pretty long and big and the pot that it's in it's so small and tiny so in any minute it just can you know fall down to the ground and it's standing on my uh, kitchen's shelf really high so i don't want any troubles i don't want to risk it so i will report it to a bigger pot i have a couple you know prepared in here so that's what we're doing let's just dive into a couple questions okay 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 so Lapu Mosaica, this is a fellow Lithuanian, asked me what are my wishlist plants and I already did a wishlist video so I don't need to answer this question which is nice. <laughs> okay next question is from Alison and she's asking me how old I am. I am 25. Yeah <laughs> this is weird but she also asked me what's your favorite color after green and favorite movies. 
Okay, so my favorite color is actually green, but I also love turquoise. I love burgundy. I mean, I love those, you know, I like those colors that are so, you know, saturated and not that, you know, like pastel or stuff. I like, you know, bright colors like this. So if that explains a lot, because you can tell by my background, I love colors. <laughs> and also my favorite movie is a mummy. So I don't know if you're aware, I actually answered this same question about a year ago on my previous Q&A, but I love mummy movies, all of them. And the newest one with Tom Cruise also speaks to my heart, I love it. It was spooky for me. <laughs> so I love all of the mummy movies, I love hmm, Hocus Pocus, I love uh, Blue Lagoon, <laughs> I don't know, I love a lot of movies. First of all, I will report my beautiful Syngonium and it will go into my hand-painted pot. Do you love this cactus? I actually have a video how I was decorating my plants and I will leave a link in this corner so you can check it out if you want because since we're all in, well, most of us are once again in the quarantine, we have so much more time to do something at home, right? Next question. Small Asian... Asian potato. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm laughing. But small Asian potato is asking what made me start uploading videos. And it actually, st I wanted to be a YouTuber maybe for three years before I actually started doing it because I was always so, you know, I was worried how I will speak in the camera because my English wasn't the best at that time. And I was so worried that people will laugh out of my accent and I already talked about this topic. So I was really worried and I just remember one morning last, no, two winters ago, I just woke up and I was like, what the heck, I'm filming a video today. So I grabbed a couple cactuses that I had and I filmed a fairy garden video. <laughs> so it just happened, you know? Okay. Guys, this pot is perfect for the Syngonium, right? Okay, then Vanessa is asking, when are you planning on getting married? So if you don't know, I am a fiance right now, not a girlfriend anymore, which is exciting. I have a full story video about it. I'll link it over here because it was crazy. Actually, me and my fiance proposed for each other at the same time <laughs> after almost seven years together. So this was fun, you know? But I actually don't know because right now since Corona hit us, my boyfriend don't have a job right now and wedding is expensive. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I, I would love to think that maybe next autumn because I want a wedding in autumn. I love the colors. I love the vibe of autumn. So, and I don't want to be really, really sweaty in my dress. So maybe next autumn. Okay, this beautiful Syngonium is all done and it looks cute in this pot. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, let's put in here. Okay, next question also from uh, Vanessa. What is your favorite kind of coffee? It's frappe. I love cold coffee and my favorite one is from Lithuanian coffee shop called Kaif Cafe or Vero Cafe. Oh, these are good. So, yeah. I'm a pretty simple person. I love all coffees that have milk in them. <laughs> Not too much, but at least a little bit should be inside, you know? <laughs> Let's go to the Lindy Lou. I think it's Lindy Lou. She's asking, what do you do for a living? I am actually a transport manager. I work with trains from China that are going to whole Europe, mostly to the Eastern Europe. But yeah, I work with trains. I sell the cargoes so for example you have a cargo in china right that needs to go for example to germany you will contact me and ask what's the price to bring this parcel from here to here and i will give you a price and i will make it work <laughs> so yeah to be honest i'm not a big fan but i love my work i mean this is so far my favorite job place I ever had and I, I already had at least seven different jobs so so far I'm good I'm happy <laughs> but I would love to be a plantuber full-time <laughs> not going to lie also Lindy Lou asked if I sell my macrame so if you're not sure yet if you don't know yet I am a macrame maker well actually I was 
this is macrame that I did also, but recently I just stopped doing it because I actually ran out of the rope, <laughs> so I should order, but I just don't, so I don't know why. Probably because a lot of other people are doing full-time macrame in Lithuania and it's, you know, a lot of work and I just cannot spend most of my time on YouTube, on my work, on my family and also do a macrame. This just would be way too, too much, you know, and I would be struggling because I was struggling at one time. So, you know, I don't want to be there again. So if you really need something contact me we can work this out i still sometimes accept orders i still do something like purses or you know wedding um arcs i love these so if you need something give me a call <laughs> or leave a comment i don't know okay next question is from emilia which is probably lithuanian would you like to have a meeting with your fans, aka me, and just start a plant club? I need more friends to talk about plants and plant help tips and tricks. <laughs> Actually, this is how I make friends. My fans write me direct message in Instagram or Facebook, and then we meet up and then we became friends. <laughs> so I, I am not this kind of person who, you know, make friends in normal way, just like going to the, I don't know, bookstores or bars or whatever you do to make friends. <laughs> so most of the time people just write me and ask, do I want to meet? And I do meet most of the time. So easy as that, if you want to meet up, write me i don't know maybe we will set up something because that's how i met a lot of friends like veya for example or uh, friends from a plant swap yeva for example right this is how i meet most of my friends so just you know <laughs> via youtube which is weird i know okay next question is from just me okay what is your favorite meal to cook and how do you deal with pests? Oh, okay. So my favorite meal right now is pizza because I actually just found a perfect recipe. And whenever I do this pizza, my boyfriend is going crazy. He's eating so loudly then like, mm, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm also really good at making cupcakes. Actually, when I started to date my boyfriend, I always thought and other people and movies told me that the way to a man's heart is through the cooking. So I would not cook, I would bake. <laughs> Cupcakes, cakes, cookies, anything like this. I would love to do it. Okay, so this is reported Monstera Peru. I love this. Also, this is, some people call it Monstera Peru. Some people call it Monstera Stendiliana. Either way, this is a really beautiful plant. And after potting them up, after filming this part of the video, I will water them because they were in the water all of this time. So they obviously need some moisture in, the, in their roots, yeah? Okay, next off, I have a beautiful pot from my mom. She actually got it for me last year. So only this year I will use it. And inside, obviously, will go a pot with the holes because this one doesn't have, Ooh, doesn't have one. Leg ramp. This is my purple passion. As you can tell, <laughs> it's so weird. I know, I, I love that it's weird. I love that it's so out of shape it's not looking awesome but i love it i love how quirky it is how you know it's just cute so we'll report this to a bigger pot because just look at this <laughs> okay next question from a green thumb how did rocky appear in your life oh well easy i found it under a christmas tree <laughs> not going to lie i actually have a video when my boyfriend got rocky he actually filmed my reaction when i was i came into home and i just remember uh, smelling a lot of perfume which was weird because why would you perfume all of the house just in the middle of the evening because it was like 7 pm when i came back from my parents and i remember my boyfriend started filming me when i came and i was like what the heck is happening and it was um the start of december so it wasn't a christmas yet and i remember he said there is a present for you in the home just go and look for it and i looked everywhere and then i remember when i saw rocky <laughs> oh my gosh guys it was like this size tiny potato laying and not moving at all he was like where the heck am i <laughs> so actually we 
Actually, I still regret getting Rocky this young because it was way too young and me and my boyfriend still wasn't too smart and did not the full, you know, research before buying a dog. So we got him a little bit too early from his mother. So right now he's so, so attached to me, to my boyfriend. It's almost impossible to leave him alone at home. So, you know, we're still working on it, but oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Another question from Green Thumb is, how did making YouTube change your life? And what are the pluses and minuses of ke keeping a YouTube channel? Oh, wow. Okay, so this actually, actually YouTube changed my life a lot. Right now, whenever the weekend comes, I feel like, okay, my day job being a transport manager is over, but my another job being a YouTuber is just starting. So every single weekend when it's coming up, I know I need to come out, come out with another video idea. I need to answer the comments. I just... Oh my gosh, I probably needed to water it before taking it out. So there is a lot of work, guys. I'm not going to lie. A lot of you are writing comments, which I love, but it always takes some time to answer them all. And I'm so sorry if I don't answer to the comments that are in my a little bit older videos because I just might not notice, you know, a new comments. I just need to go through all of my videos and just check if there are any unanswered comments and also i made a lot of friends i actually whenever i find a comment from you guys most of the time i will remember if you will comment at least twice under my videos or thrice <laughs> so whenever this is happening i remember you and this is so so much fun because i still not able to remember all of your names but whenever i see your logo uh, i mean your um, profile image is it a logo? Whenever I see it, whenever I see you comment, I remember, oh my gosh, I already talked with you. <laughs> so I just feel like I made so many friends. It feels insane because in my school, I wasn't the popular kid and I was really shy. And me and my parents would, uh, we actually moved out a lot. So I, I had five different homes in my lifetime. I think even more. So I always had to adapt to new people and most of the time I would lose my old friends. So right now it feels like a new page of my life and I feel really happy to have all of you. And just like I said, YouTube feels a little bit like work because I need to edit videos, I need to film them, I need to think about technical parts. I am planning on buying a camera actually. Actually my boyfriend got me a camera for Christmas and it's already here and we received it and I tried to film and it's just horrible. Right now we're trying to give it back to the seller, but oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much happening that you don't know about. <laughs> but anyway, okay, here is my beautiful purple passion. It looks so quirky, <laughs> but I love it. This is my beautiful, weird friend. All of us have at least one, right? <laughs> so Carrie is asking, which genus of plants does best in your home? Sensiviria, hands down. Well, should I say Dracaena, but all Sensivirias right now, when the winter is just coming right now in Lithuania, and we have a bright part of the day, maybe for like five hours tops. So I was so, so surprised to find so much new growth on all of my Sensivirias, my Sensiviria, a moonshine, Metallica, Trifastiatas, Hyacintioides, all of them are growing new leaves like crazy and this makes me so so happy. So all Sensivir is just loving here <laughs> and I love them so this is awesome. Another question from Carrie: what direction facing windows do you have in your flat? It's north facing windows, all of them. So I'm not so lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh this is wrong. I'm not really lucky with windows and that's why I really want to move from this apartment because it's so dark in here, especially when the rainy days are coming. It's just like living in a, you know, that part of house that are, is under the house. How do you call it? Oh my gosh. You know, not level one, but level zero. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't remember how it's called. In Lithuania we call it Rusis. In Russia we call it Padval. 
but I don't flip and know how we call it in English. It's so difficult to have so many words in your head in so many different languages and most of the time it's a little bit tricky to find the right one. <laughs> so I'm sorry I don't remember how it's called but I will leave it on the screen. So it feels like that. So right now let's take out this beautiful Zizi and see what's happening inside. Okay, there's like a lot. Okay, so it's really, really dry. Oh wow, it's really dry. Okay guys, look, the tumors look so healthy, right? So happy. But the plant itself is... It's a goner, so, which is sad. So I will take out this one. I will take out that one. It doesn't look happy at all. <sighs> the weirdest part that my Zizis at office are doing amazing. That's where I actually bring my Zizi Zenzi. That's where I bring my uh, huge Zizi. But all of the Zizis in my home are just not, not loving, you know, the life. So I think that explains a lot about my financial <laughs> crisis right now. <laughs> okay, so this one has the biggest tumors. Just look at those potatoes. And it looks the happiest one. So I will still try to pot these all three together and hopefully they will survive. Dark Star asking, is Rocky my first dog? And the answer is yes. This is my first baby that is furry. All of my life I had parrots. Don't ask why, I have no idea. But my parents for some reason were crazy about parrots and we couldn't have any dogs or cats because we were living in such a small apartment. I remember, ooh, I remember our first ever apartment was one room that was that did not had a kitchen. We did not had sink. We did not had toilet. So we had one big room that we uh, in this room we put a closet in the middle of it. So we made two rooms by you know just putting a closet in the middle of it. And our toilet, our sink was outside the apartment, so it was in the corridor in the hall and it was you know for all of the living people that would live in pretty similar apartments so it wasn't fun i would need to go to the toilet at night while being a kid and it would be freaking scary because we lived in such an old apartment building and it was just next to the train station because both of my parents worked with trains as well which is funny because i said all of my life that i won't be like my parents and i will never ever work with trains <laughs> which is funny but anyway so most of my life i did not have any pets only parrots because we just couldn't and right now finally having rocky makes me so so happy but at the same time, I get so much negativity, guys. You would not even believe my neighbors hate me, even though Rocky d does nothing. I remember, actually, only this week, I was walking my dog. And then we came back to our apartment building in the, you know, in the hall where, our, where is the elevator on the first floor. So I wanted to go to my floor and from the elevator stepped out a grandma. And this grandma started shouting at me why Rocky is without a, a mask, you know, for dogs. <laughs> you know that thing that, not collar, you know that thing that you put on big dogs' mouse, mouths so they won't, would not attack anybody. Well, my Rocky is living with me in this apartment building for three years right now. He actually turned three last month and there was any there wasn't any troubles with him no you know he's not interested in other dogs of my neighbors he's not interested in people he just you know wants to go and do his thing just pee play and poop <laughs> that's all he wants and all, all he needs but my neighbors just don't get it they always are mad they actually some Okay, I understand why this lady would be mad about the mask for dog, right? I mean, okay, you're, I mean, you are scared. Maybe you had some, you know, past experience with dogs that just makes you think, think that all of the dogs are crazy like this. But my dog has a diploma. He's a smart dog, okay? <laughs> so he's trained and he never ever in, in his life touched another person, touched another dog. He don't like to play with another dog most of the time. He just want to be alone with us, you know? 
So, okay, I get why she would be upset, right? But why scream in the middle of the hall? My dog was standing there in the middle of the hall and looking at this lady scream at us and like, were looking at me like, what is happening, mom? Why? <laughs> But other lady actually, also my neighbor, just said that I am dumb for growing such a large dog in two-room apartment. I have no idea how she knows that I live in two-room apartment, but anyway. And she just stands there waiting for an elevator. I am waiting for an elevator as well. And she just keeps on talking how dumb I am, how dumb my ass is, and how she would do her life differently, and how my choices show off my poor smartness and whatever and i'm just standing there you know minding my own business just wanting to go home and be back to work because sometimes i walk my rocky at lunch breaks and like what the heck people why you have so much anger that you need to put out to the world i don't get it another question dzuko pati klausė mėgstamiausi lietuvos ir pasaulio žmonės kūrintis ig ir youtube galų Tema. I will translate so um, Dzuko Pati is asking what are other people from Lithuania and all the world who are uh, creating plant related content on YouTube or Instagram and oh my gosh there are so many I love Kambarinas Geles which is a plant shop but this plant shop has a very nice IG and I just love the Instagram profile. There is, there is so much information, so much beautiful pictures. I love Becadella plants. I love Veja Majika. I love, hmm, I love Christine Kobzev, actually. I love Halaji, Plantarine, I mean, you name it, I watch them. Because right now, actually, when the quarantine is, I have so much spare time when I don't need to go anywhere. So I just, you know, watch everything. <laughs> Another question from Sandy. Does your fiance have any hobbies? He does. <laughs> oh yes, he does. He loves everything related to his car. He loves to watch all of the videos on YouTube related to cars. He loves to work next to his house. I want to say. He loves to work on his car. He never ever brings a car to, you know, um, to the professionals. To people who work with who who fix cars don't remember the, the name of this person so any anyway he everything does by himself he watches a lot of youtube tutorials and then you know gets his hands dirty so this is probably his biggest hobby cars surprise right <laughs> esmeralda oh my gosh i love this name Smeralda asks, when did you start your plant journey and has Rocky ever killed any of your plants? <laughs> Guys, I would cry right now if I would need to remember all of the plants my Rocky killed because oh my gosh, I remember when we got him at first, he was a serial killer of plants, I'm not going to lie. Okay, this Monstera has a lot of roots in here, so let's see how this will go. So yes, Rocky killed a ton of my plants. I remember being so mad because he killed at least 50 plants in his life. And he is living in this apartment for almost two year, three years, sorry. So yes, he's a serial plant killer, that's how I call him. He actually loved to chew on cacti, which is not understandable for me to be honest, but I mean for everybody their own. <laughs> But right now, finally, finally, he's getting older, he's getting smarter, and he's not that interested into plants. Right now, he's all into fridge. So he learned how to open a damn fridge, and he just eats everything that's in there. Which is fun. Guys, this is not coming off. Okay. Guys, look at this root. <laughs> this is a big boy. Big, big boy. Okay, let's prepare the soil for it. Tiffany is asking, what plants have you killed? <laughs> mm. 
girl. <laughs> I have killed pretty much all of the geniuses you could imagine. <laughs> because I started my houseplant journey pretty early, so I already have killed a bunch of cacti, a bunch of begonias. Actually, all of begonias that I ever owned are dead. I killed syngoniums, I killed sense. Well, actually, I never killed a sensoria. That explains a lot. <laughs> I've killed variegated monstera. I've killed so many alocasias, like, oh my gosh, what else? Hoyas, oh yeah, they love to die in my apartment. Hoyas are dying in here. I killed philodendrons, I kill, oh my god, I kill everything. <laughs> I am not picky. <laughs> Pebbles. Coconut coir. Pyrolite. And soil. Okay, we have soil all mixed up. It looks good. Let's take my beautiful monstera. And actually some of the roots are rotten. Okay. I'll try to pick out some, you know, dead roots. But all in all, it should be fine. I hope. I think that's perfect. Okay, guys. This is about it. We have almost an hour of footage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Editing Svetlana will kill me. <laughs> but here are all of my beautiful plants. So I right now won't water my beautiful Monstera because just like I said, it has a little bit of a root rot. So I will leave her a little bit to rest because I don't want to lose this beautiful plant. And this week I will just keep on watering because the coconut coir that I used is still wet. So there's enough moisture already for her, but that's about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this went so fast. I actually did not expect it, this one to be so quickly. So <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Did I answer all of your questions? Maybe you have any more questions? Just leave them in the comments. I will obviously answer all of them. And let's all of us go and have a nice weekend, right? So. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, comment, and let's see you in my next one! Bye!